Well, hello there. Why are you staring at me with those big, blue, beautiful eyes? You like what you see? Take a picture. It'll last longer. You like my sword? Yeah, just got it polished. Yeah, I hope you're not a monster on the inside. Because I feel like there's a connection here. So welcome back to the Thieves' Hideout, everyone. We are trying to find our way across. And we are going to blow her over. And myself, apparently. Alright. And let's go. Nice. Alright. Easy on the bridge. Easy on the bridge, woman. There we go. I fell off bridge many times before. Alright, so we are out of here. One of these keys is bound to be the boss key. So I'm excited to fight the boss. And what is the boss's name? The boss's name is Stallblind. So I have a showdown with him coming up soon. We got a hundred rupees. Is there another chest right below us? Is it on this floor or the other floor? It's right here. Alright, how do we get to that one? Can we merge? No, we can't merge in. Hmm. Can I merge? No. Alright, that might just be rupees. Not entirely sure on how to get that one. Is there a way? Eh, maybe we can float up and around? I don't think we can merge. No. Oh, there's a door there. I didn't even notice that. Okay, so we can get through that in a second. Come on, thief girl, let's go. Just a tag along, I tell you. So needy. Oh, these guys again. These guys. Come on. Wow, really? Are they really that dumb? Run, thief girl. Alright, you stay here. Yeah, come on. You you stay here. There, stay. There we go, perfect. Take this guy out first. And this guy just walking into the wall. I like wall a lot. Oh, how'd you get here? I just want a hug now from you. Wow. <sighs> the people in this dungeon, or this hideout, aren't that smart. I don't even know how they can call themselves thieves, or if they ever actually thieved anything, because all they have lying around are monster horns, some, like, people's hearts, which makes them murderers, and then some rupees. We're cut off! That door is our only way out of here. Hope you got a key for that, kid. I don't. I do not. I do not have a key for that. We gotta find one. Maybe it's right here? Yes, it is. Alright. Stay right there. Stay right here. Come here. Stay right there. Perfect. Okay. So we got ourselves a merging game here. Ah! I, oh, I missed it. So we are getting close to our fight with the most famous and only known thief with the name, the one who cannot see as he goes tinkle, Stallblind. That's how he got his name. He's blind when he goes to the bathroom stall. Makes sense. Booyah. Real nice. Alright, come on, girl. Let's go. Come on. I don't want to lose you. We're going to grab this first, though. Nice. So we got 50 rupees. So we have quite a bit of money right now. We're probably going to go and buy some stuff from Ravio when we are done defeating this guy. I know we can do it. We're pretty much the man and we got two fairies. So let's go. Let the epic battle of Link versus Stallblind begin. Thief versus Goody Two Shoe. Good. What gives? <laughs> Silly girl. Do you actually think I'd let you escape with your little hero? Oh boy! Hey, you got a sword? You got a shield? I do too. Do you have the master sword? No, I don't think so. Let's merge on in here. Hey, where'd I go? Where'd I go? Oh yeah! Slice them and dice them! Oh, this guy's gonna be easy. Wow! Seriously, you're spitting like out vile blackness, bro. You might want to get that checked out by a doctor. It doesn't seem too safe. And that hurt a bit. Come on. Okay. I gotta have to block that. I'm gonna have to block it. Nice. Alright, merge on in. Booyah! Take him out, take him out, take him out! Yeah, scratching your back! Death scratches. 
Wow, spewing up more of the vile blackness. Hopefully that's not coming out of both ends. If it is, I feel bad for the guy. But we'll do him a favor and put him out of his misery. No, don't fall off the edge! It's okay. We can come back and win. Well, he's pretty mad. I suppose getting sliced with the sword is the last thing you want happening to you when you have, like, the worst flu ever. That was pretty awesome. Too many spins will make you dizzy. Okay, we do have a fairy. We should just be able to defeat him with sheer, I'm gonna mash the button more than you can mash the button power. <laughs> Get him. Get him. Take him out. Okay. Thank goodness for fairies. Yeah, sprinkle me, girl. Sprinkle me. Real nice. Come on. She's flashing red. Oh, now your head's flying off. Wow, this thief. He needs a big time checkup. Physical. He's got some exorcism stuff going on here. I wonder if I'm hurting him. I think I am. We gotta go for the body here. Oh, come on. I was holding black. Booyah, Link! You the man! Using the old tactic of, I'm gonna slice you more than you can slice me. And we have saved the girl. And also, we should be getting another heart container. Wow, looks like you got him. Good riddance. Let's go. That door will lead us out of this place. Sounds good, girl. But I want a piece of heart. I want a piece of heart. I don't get a piece of heart? What? I feel like I got hosed. You looking for that painting? Yeah. That one of that kind of younger, elder looking fella? I'll show you where it's hidden. Come on, follow me. Alright, so now she is leading me. The tables have turned. Well, here it is. This is the one, right? Don't see what the big deal is. What's so special about this painting? Hmm, actually, now that I look at it, it is kind of interesting. I really like the whole flat kind of look going on there. It almost looks like he just walked right into the painting and got trapped there, you know? Listen to me, getting all wrapped up in a painting. Anyways, thanks for getting me out of that dungeon. Ta-ta. You just gonna leave me here with this creepy old painting over here on this left side? I guess I'll take my piece of heart. Booyah. So now we have another heart container. Real nice. And we have a painting. Let's check it out. It was Asla. Where, where am I? You, the blacksmith's apprentice. What are you doing here? And with the Master Sword? No less. That can only mean that you have rescued me? But I always thought that I was the hero of our day. That I was the one who'd be there for Princess Zelda. Hmm. It seems that I am only a sage, not the hero. How very odd. Yet now I know my place in all of this. So I pledge my support to you, your quest, little hero. Thank you for saving me. Link. Now, please find the rest of the seven sages before it is too late. And I suppose if you're the hero, then you have more need of this sandrod than I have. I wish I could give it to you as a gift, but truth be told, it is not mine. It belongs to a merchant named Ravio. I rented it, and the deal was that if I fell in battle, well, never mind. I need to get it back to him, but I seem to be stuck here. So, return this for me, would you? I might just hold on to it for myself, looks pretty nice. You got the Santa Rod, but you'll have to return it to Ravio. <laughs> okay. So I suppose we can talk to him again before we leave, since he is going to be all alone. Who could have guessed that this would be my fate? To stand here while you save the world. Still, I have my place. You have yours. You must rescue the Seven Sages, Link. Perfect. Alright, we have done it. We have rescued our first Sage. So next time, we will visit Ravio and continue the quest. And here Shiru is. What do you want, Shiru? Are you taking the sand rod, bro? Seriously? All right. 
So now we do have to visit Ravio. So next time we will visit him and we will make sure he is keeping our house in order. See you guys all then. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And if you want more Zelda, check out these awesome videos. But adventure awaits and the kingdom isn't going to save itself. And the princess isn't going to kiss herself either. Well, maybe. But I want that to be my job. Hey, I'm the hero of the story. So, I gotta get going. Remember, you can always follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and subscribe to me on YouTube to keep up to date with all the videos.